Hello world and welcome. Today we are gonna install the Jetpack 3.0 to the TX2. The procedure should be same to all the TX2, TX1, TK1. So if you have some different board, you can use it the same way. So why do you need to install the Jetpack 3.0? In my experience, the whenever I get that TX2. Uh, there was no CUDA toolkit installed, so I was kind of how should I install these toolkits? So I found out that if you just install the Jackpack 3.0, it comes with it, so you can use whatever the NVIDIA gives it to you. So before we get started, you need to unbox your Jackson, and second, you need to have a Ubuntu installed in your machine, the host PC. It can be virtual machine, you can use firmware, and it can be installed like a MacBook or your PC, Windows PC, anything, anywhere is fine, just Ubuntu desktop that's runnable. And let's get started. So, I already have downloaded the Jackpack 3.0 file to my laptop so you can go to nvidia development page or like google jackpack 3.0 you can find the download link it's free you just need a development uh, id you can be approved in a second so once you download it the file should be in the download folder so how you get is like go open up the shell and cd Download and you can see the jackpack the dot, dot run file. So let's run this. So it will show up some graphic user interface. So click next, next, and you can choose whatever kit you have, like TX2 that's for us, and TS1 and TK1 is also work with this one. Uh, program and next it will ask for your password and once you see this page it's very important on here so you can click here this one here for the full install and here for the custom install i'm gonna do the custom install because i'm not gonna install the open cv pull the tegra so no act click no action and if you go down there's another open cv for tegra so click no action it will ask the like dependencies and keep and apply and then good to go and if you have if you don't want to install anything like vision works or cuda toolkit you well you have to have cuda toolkit but if like some reason you don't want to use that you can choose not to install it and like tensor rt cuda samples cuda toolkit whatever cuda whatever you don't want to install you can select no action so let's click next and then accept or accept all right guys so after long wait the downloading finished so let's click ok it will start installing after the download so let's wait until I like finish installing this all right after another long wait the installation finished so click next so it asks you about the how it is attached to the network so choose anything that seems right for you the first one is right for me next and then choose the right 
network interface next and next and it pops up another terminal and it says put the Jackson to the recovery mode so here let me show you how to do that all right so here is our Jackson so take a micro USB cable usually that's for the Android and the cable also included in the uh, the TX2 dev kit so it says power down the device so the Jackson TX2 is already powered down and then remove the AC adapter remove the adapter from the Jackson and connect the micro B this is this cable I, I didn't use the one that's inside but it should work plug the micro B cable to the Jackson and connect the power adapter okay so and power on the machine we have to get into the force recovery mode that's press the third button here while you are press and hold click the the first and then release and then wait another two seconds and let it go after you get into the recovery mode it just started to install everything to the Jason all right now it says the installation finished now press enter so let's move into the Jason now all right so after the installation finished we are now back in now to the Jason we are to the host PC again so how I'm gonna use the Jason is I'm gonna use through the terminal so open up the terminal so if you have the keyboard spare keyboard mouse and the monitor you can plug it into the Jackson and you can uh, use from the graphic call user interface but for me I don't have anything like that so I'm just gonna use SSH and the terminal as a like a default so SSH so the ID for the Jackson TX2 is Ubuntu after you flash the Jetpack 3.0 and the IP should be different for everyone so you can check up on your router and for my case it's 188 so the password is again Ubuntu so now you are in the Jackson you log into the Jackson so it doesn't really look like Jackson but it is Jackson so we are still on the process of installation so the final installation step is update and upgrade the Ubuntu operating system so here is the keyword for that the sudo apt get update and and sudo apt get upgrade and then it will ask for the password that's going to be ubuntu and then e start check what what's like update available for the update and like 399 upgraded so it's well you better upgrade everything before you use it so why enter then you start downloading and after finish downloading it will start installing onto your machine so it's final step before you start using the Jackson so it's gonna be another long wait the in the download speed is really slow even the Jackson is connected to the wired network so I don't know the server must be really slow so after this it's gonna be really finished so congratulations you are finished with the installing the Jetpack 3.0 so you are ready to use the CUDA course congratulations thank you for watching
and see you again.